It is day two at Kenmare Public School where every grade is under one roof this year. Crystal Quile tells us about the long awaited transition. Kenmare Elementary School was split. One building held preschoolers to second graders. The other housed third grade to high school. Preschool teacher Kara Kaiser says being in two buildings caused some issues. For example, they had to wait for administration to come to their building if there was a problem. Also, if the main building had an assembly, they had to take the bus to see it or wait for the assembly to come to them. Sometimes they didn't get to see it at all. We made it work for so long that it just kind of felt like that's how it had to be. So, but it's nice that we're all up here. Elementary principal Keely Heidel says she drove back and forth at least once a day. In the past, I've had to wake up in the morning and try to figure out where I'm going to be. Heidel says the previous administration was hoping to get a bond referendum to renovate the smaller school. Superintendent Alex Hennix says it would have cost millions to make the needed renovations at the elementary school. That building is just not in the shape it needs to be for our students and our teachers. She says over the years, the number of students enrolled in the lower grades has declined, so they decided to make the move now. There was just always a disconnect, and um, gosh, it, it felt way different yesterday. Kaiser says having everyone in one place is easier. We're in the dynamic, and I just kind of feel like we're all one school as opposed to that school and this school. <laughs> The music, PE, speech, and special ed teachers don't have to bounce back and forth anymore either. In Kenmare Public School, I'm Crystal Kwao reporting for your news leader. Kenmare administrators say they are going to demolish the elementary building and put in a playground at the current school.